In a previous video, I showed how to bend wood into interesting shapes using anhydrous ammonia. The ammonia softens the wood and allows it to be bent into these tight curves. So I also put a dollar bill into the ammonia chamber, thinking that the fibers in the dollar bill would also allow it to change shape. And as you can see, here's the results. This top bill just came out of my wallet, and this was the bill that went through the dry uh, anhydrous ammonia chamber. So as you can see, it's maybe ever so slightly smaller, but not really that much. And the staining here was just from um, a, a bit of wood that was sitting next to it, and the color from the wood actually leached out into the dollar. But take a look at this. This dollar had a slightly different treatment, and as you can see, it's quite a bit smaller. Uh, it looks rather silly. I mean, it, it feels, it's a little more, uh, it's a little stiffer than a regular dollar bill, but the detail level is higher. And as you can see, the density of the ink is even slightly higher. It's sort of darker in the area. It's just because the entire bill has been shrunk. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I did this. And also, this will be a freebie video for the uh, Patreon subscribers that I have. But if you'd like to support my longer videos, I'd much appreciate it. And I'll put a link into the video description. I shrank this dollar by repeatedly dipping it into anhydrous liquid ammonia and taking it out and drying it and then dipping it back into the ammonia again. So this is a different process than just putting it into a, a chamber filled with ammonia gas. Uh, in this case, we're actually soaking it with liquid ammonia. Now the, the liquid ammonia is very cold at atmospheric pressure. And so in my previous video, when I was creating this liquid ammonia, I had it stored in a cryogenic freezer. So I poured a little bit out into a test tube and then kept the test tube in a beaker full of cold alcohol just to keep the ammonia from boiling as quickly. Then I rolled up the dollar and put it into the test tube and uh, repeatedly took it out and dried it. So as you can see, when the bill is drying, it's actually shrinking a little bit. And then through each cycle, it shrinks a little bit more each time until uh, it was sort of run out of ability to shrink it more. So I haven't seen a definitive description on the net of what's happening here, but my theory is that the surface tension of the ammonia is actually what's pulling the dollar uh, tighter together. So the ammonia softens the fibers, just like we saw with the wood, you know, so that, that part is fine. But then in the, um, in the dry ammonia gas chamber, there's nothing to actually pull the dollar closer into itself. There's nothing to pull the fibers closer. Whereas with the liquid ammonia, when it's drying, the surface tension of that liquid is what pulls the dollar tighter together. And in my video on aerogel, this is actually a big problem if you're drying a piece of aerogel because the surface tension is so powerful, it actually pulls the whole aerogel in on itself and you end up with a zero gel or a very dense sort of thing. It doesn't look like aerogel at all. So surface tension can be a really powerful sort of factor. Maybe for a follow-up video, I'll put the dollar bill back into the dry ammonia gas chamber and actually try to stretch it. Since we don't want to um, use the surface tension to compress it, it might be possible to just pull the fibers apart and have it stretched out. So I might try that again in a future video. Okay, see you next time. Bye.